mentalist Dustin Dean just brought this horrific video to my attention and I had to quickly jump on and make a video. Uh, he's going to make a video on it and it'll be, I believe, on his TikTok account or his uh, YouTube account. And his name is Dustin Dean. So you can see what his take on the same video is. I have a feeling, even though we both agree on uh, mediumship and claims of the paranormal of the sort, I think we might have a little bit different take on it. Now, this video came out in February of 2023. It is by a person who calls herself Hema Longsdale, G-E-M-M-A-L-O-N-S-D-A-L-E. And she says that she predicted, hmm, she predicted the sinking of the, the submersible or something like that. So it is a video that was uploaded before the submersible that that uh, was going down to the Titanic. I mean, I don't have to go into detail. You know darn well what I'm talking about. Even, even 20 years from now, when you're watching this video in 2043, you'll still know what I'm talking about when I say the uh, submersible that had five people in it. So it's a one minute, 38 second video she's her her claims are interesting um i want you to think about this as you watch it and when you think about it what i want you to think about is how helpful making this kind of prediction is and how likely it fits the scenario and also think about how many times things might be missing out of the video for example she could have done 10 or 15 videos on different scenarios and like involving airplanes, involving hurricanes, involving a tornado, involving, um, you know, a dirigible or <laughs> all kinds of disasters. And she's making these videos available. Nobody pays attention to them because they're not even slightly close to whatever it is that might actually end up happening in the future. But what really offends me, and I mean this offends me, and I hope it offends you too, is that she says she's channeling a man who is an actor who was in the movie Titanic. Uh, his name is Bill Paxton, P-A-X-T-O-N, and he died in 2017. So she says he's giving her this information. And I find that so offensive because... Bill Paxton is dead, but his family is still around. And how, how dare she take this man's name and his character and his reputation and so on and claim it as her own, like she's hearing from him. I mean, it's just the bear, the hair on the back of my neck is standing up. <laughs> Let's look at this video really quick while I try to calm down the hair on the back of my neck. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, these things, these people. Well, a message, and it is a, a future vision. He's coming through with a prediction. Whenever he's showing me the future, I don't know how far we're going into the future here, but the information that he's actually showing me is that there is a disaster that's set to occur, which is quite unfortunate. And what he is showing me is a ship, but he's showing me a ship that's smaller than the Titanic. And what he has said is about a cruise ship. So it's, um, I know it's carrying passengers aboard and I'm seeing passengers, you know, boarding. What he's showing me is some errors of judgment in the construction. And he's looking underneath the ship or in the internal parts of the ship. And he said that it's not sufficient and it's not being checked thoroughly. Now, I don't know if this is a ship that is on her maiden voyage or if it's something that has occurred previously where, you know, she's been used and has been in circulation. I'm not sure. However, what he is showing me is that um, there is something that needs to be looked at that hasn't been looked at. So they're confident that this has is set 
to occur. When he's joined me to the health and safety measures, he has said that they're not sufficient. Okay, so I know that there's something there where health and safety hasn't maybe been properly adhered to. Okay, so that's one thing that he is joining me to. Okay, so someday, somewhere in something smaller than the Titanic is going to have an accident because of the construction of it or the lack of maintenance of it or somebody's not paying attention or 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 i can't even believe i have to say this this is just ridiculous all right not only is she using the name of this actor who cannot defend himself, who cannot, <laughs> and his family can't. I mean, if you go, if his family comes out and says, you know, you need to stop using my my the name of my my husband or my dad or whatever, then it's the Streisand effect, and people are just going to jump on it and say, well, you know, <laughs> it'll get shared more. me so much there's nothing in this that's helpful there is no name um it's smaller than the titanic she says but that a cruise ship that's not the that's not the submersible the titan that's not it's not a it's either on its maiden voyage or it's been something that's been out for a while you know more people have been on it it's just not helpful now, the reason why, yeah, you're listening to this and you're going, okay, I get it, Susan, calm down. It's not that big a deal. Yes, it is a big deal. If you are, if it's your family member that's giving this, non, that's being said that this nonsense is coming out from, I mean, that, no, 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 come on now, have some respect for people. I have no respect for this person. She's trying to, she, <laughs> here's what I want to show you that I find really fascinating is the comments. Now, um, let's look at this really quick because I think this is the interesting part is that you would think, okay, it's got 225 comments and you hear from, um, the, uh, look, this aged well, it's so crazy. The power of spirit. There's something greater there than us. Um, I'm very much a skeptic, but this sort of thing, this is incredible. Um, I am shook. I was a skeptic, not so much now. This is wild. I think I have found the only medium I believe you have a gift. God bless. Uh, the divine is such a beautiful thing to connect with it. Only every human would realize all of us have these powers in us. He seems like a nice guy. It doesn't surprise me he would come through with a warning. A warning? Kirsten, that's not a warning. How is that a warning? He gave us four months notice and we fumbled it. You know what, Megan? He didn't give his four months notice and he didn't fumble it because he isn't talking to this person. She's just making this up. And he didn't give us a date. He didn't give us a warning. He didn't give us the name. He didn't give us the company name. He didn't name the people who were in it. None of the people who were in it and who, who died didn't say they had been forewarned and, and or the people who didn't. I mean, my gosh absolutely wild well that was insane the comparison to the titanic made me drop my jaw oh really it made you drop your jaw the wreck of the titan okay that was a book and i have it it does not predict the titanic it's it's about as vague as what we're have right here now it's not predicting the titanic um i have chills all over my body wow the specs check out. Here's one. Here's a brilliant one. Does that mean February uh, 
the 15th of February, 2 slash 15. Wow, you got me on this one. You should try to reach back and confirm. I wanted to make sure I gave you this information because this is really important. I was a part of a, a prediction, psychic prediction investigation during the pandemic a few years ago. A very, very good friend of mine named Richard Saunders has the podcast called The Skeptic Zone. We gathered during the pandemic and we analyzed about 4,000 predictions made over 21 years um, by psychics. And they were from Australia. And because he's Australian, that's what we analyzed. And we couldn't actually do something like like uh, America because that would be just an insane amount. And he scored it. He, uh, we analyzed it, we argued over things and we came out with the results eventually. And it was excruciatingly time consuming to do this. And um, I want to show you really quick that there are wonderful resources. You can look this up and here are a few of them. This one first is a podcast from Data Skeptic and it talks about statistics and and so on but this is a discussion an interview with richard saunders and i will put this in this in the link in the uh in the con under the video here's another one this is from the uk it's called the skeptic it's a magazine over there and this is uh, an interview by brian ego and he's talking about the um the australian psychic prediction project here is a um, article from Skeptical Inquirer, and there I am right there because I was part of the team that was that was working on this for a, a year or two, something like that. And this breaks it down. It's written by Rob Palmer, the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project. And so, check these out. I will have the links in the um, description under this video. There's also a lot more articles about this. This is really how science is done. Um, I can't imagine more a better done study on how to evaluate psychic predictions like the one that this Hema person just did today on some cruise ship somewhere someday. So check them out. I have great hope for the world. I really, really, really do. I don't, I find that most people are intelligent, intelligent, thoughtful people. Okay, I'm a bit of a Pollyanna and I'm very optimistic. But when I see stuff like this and I read things like this, it just, it just makes my heart hurt for the world and for common sense. I don't know what Dustin's going to say tomorrow when he comes out with his video, but let, we'll see. I'm let me let me know what you think. Put it in the put it in the comments, please. And while you're there, if you'll give me a subscribe and a like, I would really appreciate it. Thank you all.